In the tragic capital Dushanbe, Russia's Deputy Defence Minister Anatoly Antonov promised to help strengthen Tajikistan's army as an outpost of the Collective Security Treaty Organization. Meeting with Tajik President Emomali Rahman, Antonov said new military and political patterns were forming in Central Asia due to the withdrawal of most international forces from Afghanistan. Russia has about 7,000 troops based in Tajikistan. The Collective Security Treaty Organization includes Russia, Belarus, Armenia, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan. In Yerevan, the Armenian president and the de facto leader of the breakaway region of Nagorno-Karabakh visited a military cemetery to mark 23 years since the creation of the Armenian army. Together with military and church leaders, they laid wreaths and paid tribute to troops killed in battle more than two decades ago, when the Nagorno-Karabakh region broke away from Azerbaijan. Despite a 1994 ceasefire, tensions between Azerbaijan and Armenia remain high over the frozen conflict. In Kabul, the Secretary-General of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, Iyad bin Amin Madani, met with Afghanistan's Chief Executive Officer Abdullah Abdullah. Madani praised the formation of Afghanistan's National Unity Government, saying it has paved the way to expand Kabul's ties with the 57 members of his organization. The Organization of Islamic Cooperation seeks to be a collective voice for Muslims around the world. In Almaty, Kazakhstan, authorities carried out a court order to demolish three recently built houses, claiming that the residents did not own the land. They said there are up to a dozen more illegally built houses nearby that may also be torn down. Women with young children who lived in the houses were unable to provide documents showing they owned the land. They said they would start a hunger strike to protest against the demolitions. In Peshawar, northwest Pakistan, activists launched a campaign against the forced marriage of young girls. In some parts of Pakistan, girls as young as 13 are forced by relatives into marriages against their will. The activists are concerned about the physical and psychological impact of the practice. In Pakistan's southwestern city of Quetta, supporters of the nationalist Pashtunkhwa Mili Awami party celebrated a local election victory by staging a traditional Pashtun dance known as Atan. The music and dancing marked the mayoral election victory for Kalimullah Khan, who was supported by a majority of the local councillors. Kalimullah said he would strive to restore the old beauty of Quetta, which is the capital of Balochistan province. And that's the video roundup from Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty.